Hey guys, Lester, and welcome to another Minecraft mob battle here on the channel. Today we have another fan suggested fight. Today we have Kocho from the Demon Slayer mod facing off against the Crimson Mosquito from Alex's mobs, the Cave Centipede from Alex's mobs, the Hercules Beetle from Chaos Awakens, the Warped Mosco from Alex's mobs mod, and finally the Dread Scuttler from Ice and Fire. So we got an entire insect themed fight today going to be up against the Demon Slayer mob and as we know the Demon Slayer uh, people do not really take kindly to being pitted against multiple targets at once so they're going to be going all out today. So that being said if you have been enjoying the mob battles on the channel smash the like button share support consider subscribing if you're new and as always comment down below which fight you like see next most thumbs up comment will be the one picked and without further ado let's get this fight started now all these mobs have been in the arena at least once before i believe we've even had the cave centipede and the uh, crimson mosquito before i'm pretty sure we've had the crimson mosquito before that might be the one i'm not entirely sure about but anyway let's do this round one let's go she has to shrink herself once first <laughs> hercules beetle is like i will not be denied my destiny I will finally win something in the arena. Oh, it's just Cave Centipede now. Things are a little bit loud though, because uh, as we know, for some reason, volume's cranked up to 100% with the Demon Slayer mods. But they, uh, you know, she she dominated first round. Easy peasy. All right, round two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Let's go. Round two. I like how they just kind of attach to her, the, the um, mosquitoes. Where'd she go? Oh. Also, yeah, a lot of these mobs have the ability to hold her in place. But, uh, she's not gonna care too much. Oh, yeah, she has, like, a butterfly particle effect. That's really cool. She's like, with the power of my butterflies, I will defeat you. I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't really seem to care too much. She's just kind of... She's just vibing. Yep, there she goes. All right. Good job, Kocho. You did it. Also, I like when I summon her in, she shrinks a bit. I noticed that's a lot of the newer updated Demon Slayer mobs are doing that. I guess it's to get their sizes a bit more uh, accurate. Anyway, next round. One, two, three. I spawned in four, but that's okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Versus one. Let's go. It's okay if we have four mosquitoes. I'm sure it's not going to make that much of a difference. And also, I, I don't know much about this character. Does anyone know if she's actually afraid of bugs or something? Because uh, it'd be really funny if she was. And we were throwing her in an arena surrounded by giant insects. I mean, she doesn't care too much. She's literally wiping the floor with them. And uh, I saw someone ask in the last Demon Slayer video, uh, do I have all my achievements maxed out? Currently, I should have all my achievements maxed out. Unless there was some update that occurred that, that added new ones that I'm unaware of. Um... But yeah, all of the Demon Slayer mobs should have maxed out achievements in these fights right now. So do not worry about that. Well, that Dread Scuttler's like, No, I haven't been in the arena for so long. Please don't kill me. Well, she killed. Actually, she is losing health. She's down to 73. All right, next round. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Versus one, let's go. It's perfect because you have just the amount of like ground mobs versus aerial mobs fighting her and and like she she has trouble like switching to all of them. They have a full tactical advantage on her. But uh doesn't make too much of a difference of course cuz she's a, a demon slayer. <laughs> Mob. Obviously the Hercules deals and the warp mouse is able to tank a few hits, but you know it doesn't make too much of a difference. The poor centipede's like, I want to fight too, but I'm too slow. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying his best. She's trying her best too. <clears throat> oh, just two Hercules beetles left. And they're gone. What's your health at? 71. All right. Um, she's, she's got this. All right. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And one, two, three, four, five. Versus one, let's go. I like how she has like one explosion at the beginning that just kind of wipes out a few of them. 
I do like the particle effects they have going on for some of the uh, Demon Slayer mobs now. I really like the Mark Raider's done that. Like, this, there's just butterflies around. I know it's probably her thing in the anime, but um, that's just a really cool effect to have. All I'm saying is, can can this guy that that's working, that's doing this Demon Slayer mod, could he please do like a Naruto mod, like please, like you know, just have all the Naruto characters? I will fanboy like there's no tomorrow if he did that. I'd really appreciate it. Cause I know the Otaku World mod has a few of the Naruto mobs in it, but um, Naruto characters I should say, but uh, like I'm talking like a full blown Naruto mod that's like done as well as this Demon Slayer mod is. It's always down to these two Hercules beetles. They're like, why are we always the last ones alive, Paul? I don't know, Jeff, but we still lose. She's down to 34. She's going to lose, I think. All right, next round, we're on to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like how I just, the mosquitoes just get in. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of funny because I'm pretty sure all these mobs have fought each other at least once here and there, but they're all in unison today to take down one Demon Slayer girl. <laughs> oh, they were holding her in place for a second. Also, if I remember correctly, the Warp Mosca, when it does that poison attack where it spits poison, I think that does like the most damage in its arsenal. The poor Dread Scuttlers are like the weakest mob here, I'm pretty sure, and they're just kind of like, I'm trying. I have to, I haven't been in the arena in a while now. Yeah, she's making quick work. All right, just one Hercules Beetle left. And it's down. She is down, however, to poison damage. Oh, that's probably what's doing it to her a lot is the poison damage. Yeah. Well, she's not going to die from that, but it did take her down. All right, on to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven. I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you were, if you had these same mods in your survival world, would you be able to survive this amount of them coming at you? Let me know. All right, let's go. I did a poll recently where I asked like, uh, what's your favorite thing about Minecraft or whatever. And one of the options was like, I just live in a dirt house. I don't proceed further past that. And it got like a lot of votes on it. And 6% people said the dirt house one. And I'm just thinking about a dirt house right now. You're just hiding in a dirt house while all these insects are outside your house attacking you. It's kind of funny. I'm actually not sure how one would survive this mod pack. Like if you, if you were in survival fighting against all these different creatures, I know with uh, Chaos Awakens, there's some very strong weapons and things that you could get, but still, like, I don't know how you're pulling this off. Oh, so I thought she died for a second because I couldn't see her. <laughs> She's having trouble though. I, I think just because they're so, the Hercules deals take a while to take down, even for her. Uh, She's having some difficulty. All right, only one left. What's she down to? 23 health. I think that next round's gonna do it for her. That being said, let's make it the semi-final one, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think the whole I the the whole point is since there's so many big mobs with big hitboxes, she gets thrown around a lot. Um, and she can't she has trouble like aggroing and stuff. But that being said, not aggroing per se, but like hitting her target. Because if she aggroes to something in the back of the line and all these things in the front of the line are hitting her, she's gonna have trouble. Even with her AoE attacks. But she's trying here. They got her pinned. Yeah, they just keep grabbing hold of her. They're like, we're going to get you this time. There's a chance they will beat her in this round. One more of each mob might have been all they needed to achieve victory here. <laughs> I love the Hercules Beetles cry. Yep, she's in the corner. Yep. 
There's one Dread Scuttler left. If it survives this, I'll laugh. Oh, nope, it died. <laughs> Just four Hercules Beals. Two Hercules Beals. They're trying, though. They're really giving it their all. 10 HP left. Look at her being a real champion. Well, unfortunately for the final round, I can't just have one of them because she would lose. But final round, I'm going to summon a 20 of each just to make it a crazy one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And since this is going to be as crazy as you think it's going to be, consider smashing the like button, guys. Subscribing if you're new. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going to have a real insect soup today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is where it gets difficult. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I don't know why I decided to go with 20 each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, I'm going to summon in two of them. We're going to see if two can handle this many. Let's do it. One, two, let the final round commence. It's going to be hard to tell what's happening, but um, nonetheless, let's do it. Also, as you can see, there is no entity lag right now. Therefore, proving my point that only certain mods are causing that lag that occasionally happens in these mob battles. If I can have literally 20 of anything from like Alex's mobs or uh, Chaos Awakens, you know it's not, or Ice and Fire even. Well, Ice and Fire, I think if I do the dragons, it does get, have issues. But, um... Oh, they're cleaning house. Everyone's already dead with the Hercules Beetles for the most part. Two really was all we needed, apparently. I mean, if one can take on literally like 50 mobs, two, it, it just multiplies their chances tenfold. Because of how powerful they are. Shouts that cave centipede for making it all the way to the end. But it's over. And they destroyed it with their butterfly prowess 33 health and 23 health actually taken down quite a bit but they were able to come out on top just because it was two of them versus how many would that have been like if it was 20 times five it would have been 50 or 100 i mean right yeah that being said that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you all did enjoy it if you did smash like button, share support consider subscribing if you are new and comment down below if you like the next most thumbs up comment what we the one picked and i hope to see you all in the next one have a great day everyone Stay safe and oh, before I completely end off, you guys asked recently again to show for me to talk about what mods I have installed. Well, I'll quickly go over. Uh, we have the Blood and Madness mod. We have the Chaos Awakens mod. We have um, the Final Fantasy 12 mod. Uh, we have Goji Craft. Uh, we have the Ice and Fire mod. Also, I probably will skip over one or two of the smaller mods, so just bear with me here. Uh, yeah, I said Ice and Fire. We have the um, Demon Slayer, of course. We have Otaku World. We have uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. We have the Lycanites Mobs mod. We have Minecraft Dungeons, which is, you know, crazy. We have, uh, are we still in Minecraft Dungeons? We are in Minecraft Dungeons. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff in Minecraft Dungeons. Um, we have the Mousies Mobs mod. We have the Mutant Beast mod. We have the Mutant Moor mod. Uh, we have the Pyromancer mod. Um, we have the Whisper Woods mod. That's interesting. We have the My Hero Academia mod. Um, the Blue Skies mod. Uh, what is this? We have the Rats mod. And it's add-on. I have the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's mod. I have the Extra Critters mod. Um, there's the Taku World, like I said. Um, still the Taku World. We have the Wime Roost mod. And the Alex's Mobs mod. So... And what's this? Oh, Danny's expansion as well. So yeah, we have a, we have a cool, we have a good arsenal of mods. If you guys ever know of any other mod, of course you can always suggest that as well in the fights. Just specify what mod it is if you know it's new, and if possible, provide me with the Curse Forge link. Um, I would prefer to use Curse Forge. I know I know some people occasionally are like, use this mod that you have to go onto this random thing and download it. 
I would prefer it that everyone just has an easier time getting it through Curse Forge because, you know, that's what literally, like, I always have in my descriptions too for people to download the mods. So, um, the easier way it is for me, the easier it is for everyone else to get it. So, I don't like having, like, a multi-step, you have to do this to get the mod. Like, it's, I'd prefer it on Curse Forge. Either way, that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.